The transport sector has evolved from man walking on his own feet all the way to where we find ourselves today. Johnson Matthey has been around for more than 200 years and has seen many of the challenges that humankind has confronted during that time. I think that the imperative around making transportation cleaner and more sustainable is incredibly evident. So to make it less likely that people all over the world are going to suffer the impacts of climate change, we have to do something. So that's the work JM has been doing and it's the work that we are pressing into in the transportation space, as well as other spaces like manufacturing. Johnson Matthey is a company that serves customers on their own journeys to decarbonization. We have operations all over the world, and here in the U.S., we have just under 2,000 employees. So the U.S. is obviously an important part of that JM family. We partner with automobile companies, energy companies, refining companies, chemical companies. Each of those sectors is also committed to decarbonization, and we are their solution partner. Our key areas of expertise are in catalysis, process engineering, and platinum group metal chemistry. We develop products and processes that help a transportation on land, in sea, and in air. A catalytic converter is designed to grab the pollutants that are in an engine as it ignites. And JM catalytic converters, born in the 1970s, now take out 98% of emissions that otherwise would go into the environment. Uh, within a car, those chemical reactions may take some harmful components like uh, nitrogen oxides or, or NOx to uh, a less harmful uh, steam and, and, and nitrogen gas. And the catalytic converter essentially makes it so that reaction can happen. The Clean Air Act passed in the United States for you know, battling smog in cities like Los Angeles in the 70s, whose catalysts like those that JM produced that help lift that smog out of those cities. So today we have internal combustion engine, and that will be around for many, many years to come. But actually it's our role to think to the future and how we can produce transportation that is emission free. In Johnson Matthey, we're working on hydrogen that's used in internal combustion engines. But when we look to the future, the most efficient use of hydrogen is through a fuel cell. If you take hydrogen as a fuel, you can combine that with oxygen over uh, an electrocatalyst that is platinum group metal containing, and you produce electricity that you can power vehicles with. And fuel cells will be particularly applicable to heavy duty vehicles where batteries can't be used. So looking at the alternatives to power global shipping and moving away from the fuels that are being used today, people are talking about using methanol or using ammonia as ways to drive the ship's engines. Johnson Matthey has world leading methanol technology and we also have partnerships to produce clean ammonia from low carbon sources of hydrogen. At the moment we're working with a customer in Australia and they are building a methanol plant that will produce 300,000 tonnes of methanol per annum. And this is three times the current consumption in Australia for methanol. Sustainable aviation fuels are also known as SAF. Um, it's a, a fuel that looks and performs identical to fossil kerosene when it's blended inside the, the aircraft engines. But its secret weapon is the feedstocks. So it can be made from uh, residual biomass and they often have a significantly lower uh, carbon intensity than fossil jet fuel, reducing carbon emissions by up to 70%. Our award-winning Fisher Trops technology has been announced for licensing in the world's largest Fisher Trops theft plant. And another of our technologies with a collaborator has cleared the runway to deploying 100% SAF in aeroplanes. SAF is almost uniquely placed to sustain air travel at the level it is today and into the future. So once it's blended in with fossil jet fuel, it can be used in today's aeroplanes and today's infrastructure with no modifications whatsoever. The platinum group metals are really industrially important in sustainable technologies such as fuel cells, and they also enable the production of things like sustainable aviation fuel and chemicals. 
Johnson Matthey is the world's largest platinum group metal recycler and that means we can recycle the metals uh, when we sell products to our customers. If you reuse the metal rather than taking the metal from the ground, you can reduce your carbon footprint up to 98%. Johnson Matthey is important to the whole sustainability initiative globally because we are such a big part of cleaning the air that we breathe in and reducing the amount of emissions that go to the planet. We've got our own set of targets that we want to achieve by 2040 and 2030 and we want to make sure that we're standing by the mission. I think that the transportation sector is going to continue to move very quickly into new technologies. That's why JM has this incredible opportunity and unique space in which we sit as it relates to providing the core elements to energy transformation.